Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly, and today I am going to be showing you how you can do a quick sort quickly in Python. So let's get right into it. But firstly, what is a quick sort? So basically, a quick sort picks a middle item, then sorts items smaller to the left and bigger ones to the right of our middle value. It does this sorting groups over and over for each group until everything is in order. Imagine sorting books by picking a middle book, then placing smaller ones to its left and bigger ones to its right again and again and again. So let's get into how we can implement this. Firstly, we're going to do def quick sort arr then a colon. So here we're going to be defining a function called quick sort and we're going to take in a list called r as our argument. And this list is going to contain all of the values that we want to sort. Inside, we're going to do a quick if statement. If len rr is less than or equal to one, return r. So if the length of the list is one or zero, one being there's one value inside, zero meaning there are no values in it, then we just return the array because there's nothing more to sort. If you've got no values, you can't sort it. If you've got one value, you can't sort it. After that, we're going to do pivot equals arr len arr divided by two. So we're going to pick the middle item from the list to be our reference point, which we call the pivot. And len r divided by two, we use two slashes to divide, gets the middle index of the list. And we put this in the square brackets with ARR to get the value that's in the middle index of our list. And then we assign that to our pivot value. Also, before we continue, make sure your code is indented properly. My pivot was one space too far to the right, so make sure you get that all sorted. After that, we're then going to do left equals square bracket x for x in r if x is less than pivot. Now this is a bit of a mouthful, but let's break it down. What do the square brackets mean? These square brackets indicate that we're creating a new list. Everything inside the brackets dictates how this new list is formed. Then we're going to look at the for x in r. This is the start of our iteration. It means we're going to look at each element in the r list one by one. For the sake of this operation, we'll refer to the current element as x. Then we have an x here. This is what we want to include in our new list. In this case, it's the element itself. And then we have if x is less than pivot. This is a condition. After we've chosen an element from R, which we've called x, we need to test the condition. We're checking whether the current element x is less than our chosen pivot. If x is less than the chosen pivot, then x will be added to our new list. If x is not less than the pivot, we move on to the next element in our array, which we called r. And we do the same check again. We have basically condensed a for loop into the square brackets to make the code more compact. So now we're going to do the same for the middle and the right. And in case you didn't know, how we, ca how we segment our lists, anything that's lower than the value in our middle element is in the left. Anything that's greater than the value of our middle element is on the right. And anything equal to our middle element is going to be in the middle uh, list. So we only need to check if it's equal to the pivot in for the middle. And for the right, we have to check if it's greater than the value of the pivot. So lastly, we're going to do return quick sort left plus middle plus quick sort right. Let's break this down what it's doing. So we're actually going to be calling for a quick sort function inside of the quick sort function, which is called recursion. And what we're basically doing is we're doing quick sort left. So we're asking the function quick sort to sort the left list for us. The quick sort function will keep breaking down this left list and sorting it until it's completely sorted. Once sorted, the function will give back the sorted left list. Uh, we don't quick sort the middle because the middle part is already sorted since it only contains values equal to the value of the pivot. So it can only have one value basically, but it could have multiple instances of that one value. Like it could be, it could contain 2769 values, but we don't need to sort that because they're all the same. And then we do plus quick sort right, another recursive call, and we're asking the quick sort function to sort the right list. And it works in the same way as sorting the left list. The function will break down, sort it, and then give back the sorted right list. And we can add these together because we can combine three lists into one 
and it will be in order of how we combine them. So we do the left part of the list, then the middle, then the right part of the list, and that will be sorted data. And that's it for the function. So I've got two lines of code. We're going to do r equals, and then I have initialized a int array. This will work for all data types, by the way, not just numbers. So you could do this with words if you wanted to, or decimal numbers if you wanted to. And then we're going to do print quicksort r. So we're going to call our quicksort function, which we made here. We're going to pass in our array and we're going to print out the sorted list. So let's save our work and hit play. And as you can see, it sorted the list just fine. We had many duplicate values and that still worked out perfectly. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more Python tutorials. Thanks for watching.